common characteristic of roles exists in all family structures. Obviously, how these roles are carried out differs greatly depending on the family structure. Although one day when the lady met this fellow, and they knew that it was much more than a hunch. Another family structure is the blended family. That's the way they all became the Brady Bunch. The a Brady blended family is a yours, mine, and ours. With a, a blended family, you can have the husband's children from a previous relationship, the wife's children from a previous relationship, and then any children that they may have of their own. Our increasing life expectancy also contributes to the number of blended families. As our society has found more and more people living longer, we have remarriages, not in the sense of the younger people who have divorced and remarried, but people who have lost their spouses and they find someone and they remarry. So it, it sets up a whole new phenomena in the study of the family. All family structures share the common characteristic of groups, such as relatives and kinship groups. Within a blended family, these groups would likely expand because of the many possible combinations of relatives from each new family member. The racially and ethnically mixed family is another structure that is no longer unique in American society. Marriages between individuals of different ethnic groups and different racial groups are a growing phenomena, and I think that's one of the reasons that sociologists are interested in them. Our ethnic heritage provides us with unique cultural beliefs and values. When people with different heritages join together in a family, they must work on reconciling differing value systems. Racially and ethnically mixed families bring different sets of values together, not necessarily that these values are going to clash, but it, it means that society is blending in a whole new way. The intergenerational family in which several generations live in the same household is another family structure that is increasing in number. We're seeing, for a variety of reasons, a lot more kind of three-generation families. A lot more households where young children who have left, grown up and left, maybe gotten married, um, marriages don't work out, or in some cases they're not even married and they have jobs that don't work out, and they move back home. There's cases of where older parents who are at a time in their life where they need more assistance may move back in with their, with their children. Oh, you're so high. Intergenerational families provide a different dimension in how we look at the characteristic of norms. Over time, norms may vary slightly from generation to generation. But how would the continuity of norms be affected in a family where three or four generations are living together? The number of families headed by teenage parents, another family structure, is increasing in the United States. For many people, this is a cause for concern. Families where the teenage parents are the heads of the household are a great concern because they sometimes lack the maturity to handle the stressful situations in which they are placed. It's hard to raise kids, even with two parents, and doubly hard when there's one, and triply hard when you're young and you have your kids yourself. Teenage mothers in particular find themselves in situations where they find their education just come into a screeching halt with the birth of that first child. And it's very, very difficult for them economically to ever get ahead. Isn't this so fun? Same-sex marriages have been legalized in some Scandinavian countries. But in the United States, such marriages are not yet legal. But same-sex living arrangements do exist and serve the same functions as other family structures. There are partnerships between gay and lesbian people who live together and raise children together. And I think this is becoming increasingly acceptable. All right.
I don't think we yet have a vocabulary to kind of name the variety of uh, complex and subtle relationships that we have with each other.